What's going on guys? It's your boy Ace Live. I'm here still in Margarita, um, but I am actually leaving. But I do have a video for you, but it's mixed. It's a mix of stuff that I think you will enjoy watching. So thanks for watching this video. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. Alright guys, uh, I think this will be day one of Island Adventures or maybe not, but I'm here still in Margarita. All the ladies have left. Uh, they have things to do within the city and so I decided to stay. Volpe also is here somewhere, but he's here with his uh, lady friend. So me and him are going to, he's showing me a restaurant I can check out, okay? Now his restaurant I wanted to go to because it has like a Rastafarian theme. Bob Marley, shout out to Bob Marley, we were born on the same birthday. But they're closed. I actually came out here real late. So I'm at this new restaurant right here. And uh, it's very nice. Come and say I'm in say barrio. No, pero la barrio, la, la area, Pampa. Pampa Tal. Okay. And the restaurant is called? Hola. Hola. So it, it looks like this place is uh, yeah, very, really good. Very colonial place. Yeah, it looks very colonial. Very colonial okay, he's gonna show me upstairs of this place. So it's like uh, I want to say it's like five something right now, guys. Check my right time. Six twenty. Yeah, that's how late I am. Okay. Uh, Should have came out here early, in it, like a twelve o'clock. Look at those. But this Look is those. super nice, yo. Uh, and you know, down the street from the area, it's like a whole strip of uh, walking um, bars and um, restaurants. Well, this is nice. Very nice. And then during the daytime, when the sun is out and the sun is beaming, oh man. Yeah. I was talking to my uh, friend from Trinidad. I, I, one of my dreams is to go to Trinidad to work. I, he told me, why? I said, because I want to learn more English and earn more money. Mm. Because Venezuela is, you know, yeah, what happened here with the pandemia and uh, those kind of things, governor. And he say, I'm, go I'm coming to to your place, to Venezuela. I bought a house, an apartment in Venezuela to live here because we from Trinidad comes a uh, fundación. I don't know how to say fundación in English. Okay, foundation. Okay. okay to you to learn how to make uh, to work with the Instagram, the Twitter, this kind of thing. Okay. I will be free for us. Work with work. social media. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's that's the, the point. Yeah. And I say, wow, wonderful. But why Venezuela? Because you are very rich. Yes, we know we are very rich. No, no because the petrol, no because the, the gold, no because the, the iron. It's because you people, your own people, is your richness you have. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's beautiful. I say, wow, my, you see, my skin put like this. Welcome to Margarita Island. <laughs> Love it. This is uh, this is one of the best places in the world. Yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> Love you, my friend. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I see you tomorrow, man. Uh, okay, 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 nice, nice. nice, nice, so nice thank nice, you. Nice. Well, let's see if we can get something in here, man. Um, one thing for sure about this island, you are going to get some fresh seafood. All right, guys, I just got me some polar beer. I'm gonna be getting me some shrimp, some rice, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna just enjoy my time here, man. Um, maybe I can show you something later in this area, or uh, we'll we'll zoom back till tomorrow. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Bella Vista Beach right here. I am still in Margarita and I've just been here for a couple of days by myself enjoying this uh, island. But I just wanted to show you uh, this island a little bit more. Um, and yeah, just uh, 
explore a little bit more just by myself. <laughs> and uh, Volpe is still here, so we're still gonna be collabing. I got a link up with him. He's in a different um, Airbnb. But I just wanted to show you this one right here. It's super cool. You can't see it, but man, that beach view is amazing. Let me see if I can get closer. You can see it now, right? but I can see it all the way from back there. So it's amazing, right? Um, I paid a hundred bucks for this place. It has a full kitchen, as you can see. Um, it has a bathroom right here with the views again. <laughs> if you can see, there's a view here, right? And then there's actually another room, right? If I have guests or, you know, if I were to throw a party here, boom, I got, I got space. All of this for a hundred bucks. I could have got a cheaper place, but I just love the way this place look and I went forward. It's another bathroom, this is our second bathroom. All of this is my balcony. Yeah, this is another wraparound balcony and it's my private balcony. Although my neighbors from that angle could probably see me. And then my room here. The only drawback about these, this place is the, the way the furniture looks, but it is very comfortable. The beds are very comfortable. My computer's right there. I'll explain why it's there. And another bathroom with a beautiful view. Taking a shower. Man, it's amazing taking a shower with this the beach right in front of you. It's super cool. Sometimes I'm paranoid. I feel like people can see me, but it's still a cool energy. Now, my laptop's here because this, the Wi-Fi is not that great. The Wi-Fi in this island, if you come in here and expecting great Wi-Fi, they have it, but not in a lot of places, so expect not having really good Wi-Fi. I recommend you getting like a phone service from the country. That way, if you really need to uh, stay online, you can, all right? This is another reason why I got this place, uh, the jacuzzi, which I haven't used yet, but uh, I will. And another thing, I'm like literally right in front of this pool. This is actually a condominium, so anybody can use this pool, but they actually can eat it every single day, and I'm actually right in front of it, so I really get to enjoy the view from my balcony, which is my second balcony here, which wraps around here. So here you go. Just let me know how you feel about this place, man. Just let me know what you think. A lot of these buildings here are, it seem to be run down, uh, but they're really good inside, just for if you're wondering. I wanted to be here a little longer so I can just see more of the city and enjoy my time, party some more. Uh, I know a lot of you guys want me to show you more life in uh, Venezuela, and I will. Um, but I still want to enjoy my time here. I'm literally considering spending more um, months here, but my, my time here is only short. If they can extend my time a little bit longer, I wouldn't mind just staying here for maybe two months uh, and just uh, focus on myself. I love it, I love it a lot so far. Anyways, let's go outside. Uh, I wanna go see if there's an empanada place I could get some empanadas. All right guys, so this is the place and actually it's for rent right here. Um, interesting enough, the other Airbnb I was staying at, uh, shout out to uh, my subscriber, owns it. He owns it, but he didn't know it was me. But he didn't know it was me until we finally spoke and he was telling me how real estate in this island is super cheap. They're selling a lot of stuff. I don't know, maybe it would be worth buying into property here I feel like this country has actually been on the bottom for so long that the only direction next is up <laughs> interesting enough we're getting all type of energy hello how are you <laughs> I'm good where do you learn English <laughs> uh, very bad Okay, uh, no, it's very good. <laughs> uh, let me see what's up with these ladies right here. They speak in English. <laughs> how are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, how, how you speak English? Um, very well. Donde emprende English? Duolingo. <laughs> Una apa? Mm -hmm. Okay, U ustedes habla English? Where are you from? I'm from Miami. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Wow! Mira, y wow. porque no graba. <laughs> Yo soy YouTuber. 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 Yes. What? Conozca a mí. ¿Cómo no. se llama? En mi canal? Yeah. Se llama Ace Ace. Ace. Ace Ace. 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 Vivo. Por eso te busco por Instagram. Ah, a YouTube. 
Let you me have see. Wife. Do I have wife? No, porque. Y girlfriend. <laughs> you try to no, you you try to hook me up. In serio, that's soltera. Sí, sí. Oh wow. Muéstrame para ver para buscar. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you want my WhatsApp number? You don't care? Okay, all right. Dale el WhatsApp. Estoy buscando empanadas. ¿Y y comiste ahorita? ¿Quieres almorzar? Ah, un poco, un poco, ¿por qué? Aquí hay otro sitio uh -huh. donde... Pero, ¿por qué me quiere acabar? Aquí She hay otro sitio por allá. Sí, es soltera, sí. Soltera. Allá, en, puedes almorzar allá si quieres. Ok, ok. ¿Cómo se llama el lugar? Te voy a llevar. Yo voy para allá. Ven. Ok. Aquí. Ya. ¿Te abro? Sí. ¿Me vas a mostrar your house? Ah, ok. No, en mi casa no. Ah, para allá. Ah, ok, ok. Te voy a llevar para allá. <ríe> Okay, she's gonna show me, and I actually have a guest coming. This is gonna be tricky. <laughs> so, I actually have a guest that's coming in right now, and so it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm leaving the guest that is in a taxi show up. No habla inglés. Muy poco. Muy poco. Sí. Oh, okay. ¿Qué está haciendo? ¿Una app o una escuela? ¿Algo así? O? Sí, está en una escuela. Una agencia. Ah, ok. Un, como una escuela, algo así. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. ¿Tú qué estás? ¿A qué te dedicas? Uh, bueno, yo soy youtuber. Uh -huh. Yo viajo a muchos lugares y grafo. Um, diferentes sitios. Ya está aquí por una semana con mis amigos, pero ya se fueron. Solo queda dos. Y tú soltera, ¿por qué? Why are you single? <laughs> ah, no importa. Yo conozco muchas mujeres que tienen hijos, pero no, no es soltera. Mm. So she has a daughter, guys. So. She was telling me why that's why she's single but she's gonna show me the area right here and um yeah maybe i get her number i don't know we'll, we'll see Oh man, guys, things have just gotten muy complicado. Uh, so I'm hanging out with a cool chick that's supposed to be coming out this weekend. I don't know if you'll see her in this video, but uh, yeah, I'm hanging out with her and I just met this wonderful, cool woman who was so gracious to show me around town and it's like, yo, yeah. but I, I did get her number. I'm a single guy. Uh, but I'm, I don't know, maybe I mentioned it to her, I don't know. Uh, this interesting thing that has, that happened to me today. Uh, you know, I just be minding my business. I don't, I don't be trying to like, like meet people, you know, per se on that level. But hey, sometimes I'm not, you can't say no, man. This that's about, that's what life is about. Hola, como estas? Uh, she did want me to be careful with my um, GoPro here and actually, some other people have told me don't walk around here at night, which I have already. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, I think my guest is showing up. So I'm walking around the other way so she doesn't see me double back. So I can meet up my, with my guest. Oh. Hot mess. Morning rays, golden sunlight as the city wakes. Oh, my love for you. But anyways, back to the street life. Let me show you this area um, of uh, Margarita, which seems to be under construction. And um, in some parts, seems to be a little bit run down in terms of maintenance. Nothing I feel like a fresh paint can't fix to make it look a little bit more new here. Um, yeah, just some fresh paint. This place look uh, tip top shape, but I don't blame the, the business owners for not keeping this place in shape 
because of the simple fact that um, tourism has been on decline because for the past couple of years and you know why um, there's several different reasons um, for what I understand though a lot of tourism from Russia comes here and because of what's actually happening now <laughs> that is at a halt as well so there's a lot of livelihoods that have slowed down because of what's happening in this world and uh, this is how it's been affecting this town this island right here I was here this past weekend which is a holiday weekend holy weekend and um, but the swellings like to go to the beach during the um, holy week and so there was a lot of uh, um, pretty much uh, a lot of uh, people here and so the prices did skyrocket i can only imagine once this island gets back into good shape with tourism though everything every day you come out here or every time it might be a little bit more expensive to be out here um, which is one of the reasons why it might be a cool idea to, to purchase property here i did hear this place used to be dangerous but now things have calmed down <laughs> this guy behind me he's like what the heck he had to he had to do a double check to see what was going on <laughs> oh man do i play english yes i speak english uh, his all his family is from uh, is in miami right now and he's actually showing me where i can go to get a uh, grocery what, what your hotel you uh, stay in? i'm staying right here in big view palace yeah oh he's pretty it's very good this hotel huh oh okay yeah um, i have a, 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 a restaurant my friend that's your restaurant oh, it's pretty good my friend mm. i have fish chicken all my friends uh, maybe i go there maybe i go there so let me check out this place let me hey you want to buy uh, water yeah buy some water okay I, I, I have you know the place okay cool guys if you've been wondering prices here be goes for uh boulevard or dollar but mostly dollar so far Hola. Ah, que frío. Ah, okay, it's very good. ¿Cuánto es el Gatorade? Okay, do you have a Gatorade? Do you have everything? Yes, sir. Everything, my friend. I have a matcha, a water. ¿Cuánto hey. es? ¿Tú tienes agua? Agua mineral. You like your water? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't have. Hola. <laughs> Hey, look this baby. Yeah. Uh, the blue eyes. Blue eyes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, but you have it with your family? No, we are your handle solo. Along? Si. Oh my god, yeah. pretty good. You you fight, you play mucho. Yeah. And when you got the black eye, oh. you fighting people. No, me robaron. <laughs> oh, they rob you? Yeah. Aquí? In la playa, weón. El viernes. Friday, Friday, they rob you. Que yeah, día? The Friday about the uh, seven in the night. In the night. Ah, in the night. yeah. Entonces no pasen aquí la noche. No. Too much. Really gross, too, much. too much. Oh, there Daniel. you go. Too much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. And uh, maybe no, I stop hey. at your restaurant. Hey, vamos para que lo conozco ahorita. Ah, you para tengo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Yo, what what we doing today, man? What we doing? What we doing today, man? You like it? Yeah, I like it, man. Oh my God. Yeah, I like it, man. Hit that like button. What we what, what we doing today, man? I thought we was going in the hood. Look how clean this kitchen is. Como estas? Hey, wow, how are you? Good work, good work. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Esta mesa, la, la sitio. Wow, okay, okay. Wow, this is nice. Muy, muy Very bueno. Very nice, you know, you like wow. it? Wow. Hey, look at the beach. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Ah, debe, hoy yo come, uh, come aquí. Hey, oh. okay, I close about it at 6 o'clock, you know? No preocupe, yo vengo, okay? Okay. Okay, yes, yes, thank you. And then, you puede comer aquí yes, si puede. Yes, you already eat it in. Ah, yeah. Entra la playa, disfrutar y aquí. Claro, I, I have a beer, two beers for seven bolivares. Oh. Two beers. Yo puede pagar con mi tarjeta aquí. No. Ah, uh, solo only... efecto? Eh, eh, okay. Ah, ya, va, va. Hey, you have a, a power mobile? Uh, vamos a ver si yo tengo pago mono. Yo tengo que buscar. Zelle. So we sell it, okay. Sí, yo puedo pagar con Zelle. Okay. ¿Está bien? Zelle, ¿cómo es? Okay. Well, guys. Oh, um, 
I said pizza no. tambi. Yeah, in the night. At night. And uh, so this is very interesting right here. Wow, guys. And this is right next to where I'm staying. <laughs> I was just walking around. This guy uh, say, what's up, player? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hold on. I think that's my guest right there. Como esta? Okay. Oh, oh, man, <laughs> I know that I just met you, but you know. <laughs> no, 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 you don't get it. You don't get it. Ay, ay, oh, bueno. I'm in the good. Girl, please. <laughs> All right. So what's up guys, we're back again. We're at the pool of the place I'm staying. I'm with my model friend right here. If you're wondering, yes, I got her over here because I just wanted to hang out with her, get to know her a little bit, the her cute uh, stuff. But I am gonna go um, hang out with uh, Volpe in a second. We're going to a new beach, I'm taking my model friend with me. All right, thumbs up, whatever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's the best, I can't stand her. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Although this place may seem a little bit dangerous from what I'm hearing, uh, Bella Vida Beach is super dope, man. You get your own little beach to yourself, no music, it's just you. And this, uh, yeah, I love it. I, I really love it. And I like the security, you know what I mean? I like the security. The security don't mess with me that much, okay? Barely can't see anything, but. That's security. Margarita beef, not that bad, man. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Right 
right, guys, we finally made it to Oaxaca. ¿Cómo se llama ese plan? Eh, Waikuku Sur. Waikuku Sur. <laughs> the, well, the place is called Waikuku Surf here, but we are actually at Beach Waikuku. I'm supposed to be meeting up with uh, our friend. Let's see if we can find him. This girl is making me so arepas like a donut. She puts a hole in the arepa. I've never seen that before. I know there's different ways of making arepa, but this, I love the way she makes it. It tastes different. Como hacerlo? Fill it up with water. Oh, uh, so if you put one cup like this in the pot, you need to put at least the equivalent of one cup of the the flour, the arena, which is this right here, guys. If you're wondering, this is how it looks right here. This is a really good um, arena. Put salt in there, okay? Uh huh. Lo, lo masaje con la you massage the dough the and then you obviously <laughs> your hands have to be washed okay sí. you don't want it you don't want it too soft but you don't want it too hard you just have to get it in the perfect mix when you're doing it Sí, yo te gusta eso. ¿Por qué hacen esto? She put like a hole in the middle when she does no it. No sé, como para que se cocine mejor por dentro. So she says it cooks better when you put the hole in there. Hace un una más. Dame ver, dame ver, dame ver. Ya está listo. It's already mixed. But we'll see what she's going to do right here. All right. Y salen bastante de la harina. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. O sea, una harina sale mucho arriba. ¿Y tú te gusta esa harina? She likes this um this um right here. It's really good. It's the only go. It's the más famoso. Oh, hay otro más famoso. Hay otro, pero la mayoría siempre usa este. Okay, okay. There's other, but ese nombre aquí, pan, es el más famoso o no? Hay otro más famoso. This is the most famous um brand they have here. They got the Ancha Mama Latina version right there. Okay. Mm hmm. Pulling it up. All right. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it comes out like that, guys. Because the ra the rapers I've eaten, they're all like more white. Um, not with the golden crust, but I like the way she makes them with a golden crust. It looks like a donut, doesn't it? <laughs> That's dope. I like it. I like it like that. Yo te gusta el arepa así. Yo come mucho arepa, pero nunca así. Yo te gusta. Yes. Como así. Bueno, es más blanco. Porque las que tú comes son negras. Huh? Las que tú comes son negras. Como son. Bueno, lo arepas yo come es blanco como así, salen así, pero sabroso. Pero tú yo, mira más que tiene más color aquí, yo te gusta eso. Es como un donut, no sé cómo se dice un donut, en, ¿cómo se dice un donut? Donut, donut sí. Para eso yo te gusta. Mm -hmm. Y con el huevo y todo eso, muy sabroso. So she actually is gonna make it with some huevos, okay? More, ¿qué es ese? Where you get this? <laughs> I, I don't even know where she got this <laughs> right here, man. So we got a, uh, we got butter, we got a uh, American cheese, which I love, and I got some Philadelphia cheese. They got that here in Venezuela. Okay, that's like a five bucks one right here. Another five. Mm -hmm. 
So it's American. Mm hmm Todavía. So they still have American products coming into the country. So you got this, this, and they probably have to go a different yeah, route. Uh, aquí también. Ah. Wow. So stuff from Colombia also comes here, obviously. ¿Qué es el pozo bon? Ole, el uh, trago. Uh, the soda. Es un soda. Uh -huh. Pozo bon. Es en Medellín. Pozo bon es Medellín. Like, pozo bon es Medellín. Es Medellín. Okay. You know what? She just brought up something that I wanted to. Um, I was talking to a, um, the. I was talking to a taxi driver here, and we were talking about embargoes and stuff, and these things coming into the country. And we were just talking about how there's a lot of things this country is missing out on because of these uh, sanctions that are happening in the country, um, especially with flights coming in. So because of uh, what this government has decided to do when it comes to visa entries, not only for Americans, but there's all these other Latin countries that require visas for their people to come to their country has hindered tourism in a big way from coming here. So the taxi drivers mentioned places like Chile, Argentina, they apparently they need a visa to get here. I don't know what is their process. And of course, America. And these are the countries that are more likely to come visit Venezuela because they're closest. But all these countries require visas to enter the country. And because of that, a lot of people see it like, you know what? I don't want to go through all that hassle. It took me a while, months, to get entry into this country. So I could understand like other people, other people, you know, want to visit Venezuela, but because there is a visa requirement and it might be a lengthy one, they skip Venezuela, which can do a toll to its tourism right here. You know what I mean? The taxi driver gave me the idea of how things work. All right, so a uh, company, like let's say for example, Copa Air. Copa Air flies into this country, right? Now, Copa Air has several uh, planes. They have a plane in the United States that can fly from the United States to Panama. Now, that plane itself is not allowed to fly into Venezuela. The plane that flies from the United States to Panama stops in Panama and then another plane from Panama goes to Venezuela. That's why you don't have a flight that goes directly to Venezuela. It's a, it's a particular rule. The plane can't touch a particular country. So if a plane is coming from the United States, it needs to stop in between a different country, boom, and then another plane, which has never been to the United States, can be used to fly into Venezuela. So that's why you have these issues when it comes to having um, products come to the country, um, things like I mentioned in my other video, um, shipping things into Venezuela. It's a lengthy process. But in a way, because of these sanctions, Venezuela has become a little bit stronger, in my opinion. And it's because of these sanctions, um, they have now learned to rely more on their resources as, a, as opposed to having imports. So, you know, it's, it's crazy, but it's, it's working for them slowly. And so when they do have imports finally coming in, I don't know. I don't know how this country will turn out. But right now, they're relying on themselves and they're showing that they can function without outside influences. But it would help if it wasn't the case. For example, if there weren't any issues with traveling to this country, this place would be full with tourism. This beach would have way more people walking on it. Prices for these hotels would be a little bit more higher. The locals would have a lot more money because of the tourism here. Life would be a little bit more better. All right, guys, so this is the finished product right here. This is better than McDonald's. Mmm, wow, really good. Mm. I love the golden crust. Gracias, chef. 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 Sobre todo eso. Chef. Sobre todo chef. Dale. Okay. Gracias, baby. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Real good. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, Kyle. Mm hmm. Let me get my cup. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. Completo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, my 
thank God. I already been a piece. You don't see my face? <laughs> Just making sure. Okay. You heard the crunch though, right? Mm. <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, guys. I'm heading to the beach. Trying to see how Bella Vista Beast really is. See how I get there. Se vende apartamentos aquí. Se dice vende. ¿Cuál? Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah, wow. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So I have to talk to the superintendent. Find out what's the deal with that. But if I ask for like uh, a price here for a place, I, I wouldn't be the one. It has to be a local to ask because as soon as I ask, it's over. The price is gonna not be the real price. So my friend um, is fixated on getting back to the city with her tan. So she is literally just chilling here. This beach, when you get close to it, it seems like it needs a little bit more extra maintenance on it. Ah, sí. No. Eh, tiene que limpiarlo un poco de ese. Say good. You said it good. You knew you. I. I want fast. Teacher, I only want teacher. Uh, oh yeah. I want you, my teacher. You want me to teach you? Yes. I teach you how to yeah, I swim. I teach now, you a couple I things. Thinking, I teach you about you and me. Oh really? Yes. Well, what were you thinking? I'm thinking I want you are my daddy and my Oh yeah, you want me to be your daddy and be the yeah, baby? You tell me the <laughs> Oh, you remember? <laughs> what I told you. <laughs> what I told you. <laughs> you killed me. What no, is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> you need travel, no problem. Me and stay with baby. Oh, yeah? Only your preoccupation. Oh, the yeah. baby, it's okay. Oh, yeah? Okay. It's okay. Oh, okay, maybe. Okay. I won. Okay. Yeah, if he, won, you have you, to keep on making me need, a leapers. You have 35. I have... I have seen 30. Oh, okay. It's okay. Now. It's okay. It's good. Only, only you need go in the doctor for, for you want girls. Okay. okay. I want girls. <laughs> you want girl? You want a? No have. You don't have. Okay. All right, mom. <laughs> She's driving me nuts, man. We joking. You, you tell me. What I tell you? You tell me up. What I tell you? Tell you tell me up. Or you forget. <laughs> you forget. <laughs> You forget? <laughs> this girl is driving me nuts. You play, you play with me. No, I don't play with oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> She's driving me nuts. She's driving me nuts. <laughs> She's making me laugh. Yo. <laughs> she made me laugh today. The big laugh. <laughs> big. Mm. You enjoy your time, baby. I'm gonna go in the water. I like the other you, one. You scared? I'm scared what? <laughs> <laughs> You scared? Huh? You scared? I'm scared, yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm scared of. What happened? What? <laughs> oh, here come the comments. Oh my gosh, Ace. I'm disappointed on you for having fun. How dare you show me that energy? Yeah, I'm just showing you some love, man. It's some energy, man. So I think a lot of you guys think I would like to have fun. I do like to have fun. And that's why this is uh, episode 7.5. <laughs> After this episode, we get back to business. You know what I mean? Meeting people. Um, I actually told her about the woman I met. And so I was just telling her, like, I mean, um, we're not officially together or anything we're just enjoying each other time and that was she was cool with um me telling her that you know what i'm saying i met a woman like that her in mexico and i actually got them talking to each other because i was like yo you got sisters and everything <laughs> and they it's 
it's good to be honest and upfront with people about different relationships. Uh, it's good to be honest and upfront with people about how you feel, you know what I'm saying? Now, I haven't told uh, the woman I got her number recently, but I haven't even been speaking to her, so I don't feel like I need to tell her anything. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Uh, just sharing with you a little bit of what Ace is up to um, here in Venezuela. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't do this all the time, though. I hope you understand that. And, that's, and I'm totally fine with that, too. Hope you understand that, too. I think some of you guys won't, but totally fine with that. Here's the comments. Ace, you have all these beautiful women in your life because you have money. You can take care of them. All right, so that's actually true, and I, I want you to understand what, what world, and what world does that not make any sense? You know, we we adore and idolize these basketball players and these and these guys that are hella successful, hella smart, and making millions of dollars and billions of dollars, and we see them with beautiful women, and we think that's normal. You know what I'm saying? But when you see me, Ace Joe Smo, it's a uh, oh, uh, flag on the play. How is that? How is that? If you can show the ability to take care of a woman, then why is there a problem? Women are attracted to men who can take care of them. Point blank and serious. I'm gonna give you some real jewels right now. Take it how you want it. In this life that we live, you are given cards and you choose how you play them. And if you still don't get it, just follow me, man. At the end of the day, man, I want to travel, see the whole world. And I, right now, the part, this part of it is fun, but it's not the end all be all. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man and I like to be by myself sometimes. And I wanna I wanna see what I'm made of. And that means I have to travel the world to do that. I, that's that's for me. For you, the, your journey might be different. But my journey is I wanna see the world. I wanna travel the world. That means I need to keep going. And I do not need, I wanna say this, I do not need a female companion to be in my life to make it complete. I stand by myself, I, I can stand alone. You know what I'm saying? This is nice, yes. But I want you to understand something. Life goes on. You see, I'm in Venezuela now. I'm not gonna be here forever. I'm gonna go somewhere else that is far away from these voluptuous women, far away from uh, this beautiful beach, and I wanna learn life there. I wanna live an adventurous life, meeting new people, having a good time. But I do wanna enjoy my time with the beautiful women in this world. So you know what I'm saying? This is like the, this is your real raw ace live you're getting at the moment without the cursing. Oh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are here enjoying this uh, rendition of 7.5. I know it's it doesn't make sense. It's a mixture and it's fun, but I just wanted to share um, another side of me you guys haven't seen before. Chill side vibe and you know just trying to figure things out as we go you know i love it here and I, i'm actually entertaining the idea of spending more time here just off camera i feel like what we're doing here is going to motivate thousands of people <laughs> to get out and get the passport but beyond beyond that i feel like just traveling the world and get to parts of the world that we don't normally go to so I have to go, and I'm gonna continue to go. And it's not a sad thing. I look forward to meeting new people and going new places. And uh, she wants me to speak Spanish cuando ella está aquí. Entonces, yo estoy contento para viajar muchos nuevos lugares. Okay, está bien, baby. Yo puedo viajar. Okay, tú viajar conmigo. Sin ti o contigo. <laughs> she said, whip or without you. <laughs> Sin ti o contigo. So, uh, that's a thug right there. You feel me? That's a thug. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Si contigo, mejor. Pero con una música. Si, baby. <laughs>
Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. This is a part of a series of videos of me in Venezuela. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.